What is up guys? This is Kelly, aka Kelly the Great, your favorite functional medicine nutritionist. And today I will be talking about insulin resistance. Now, every time I describe and explain this topic, it is so extremely vital that you guys understand exactly what insulin does in your body. Because if you can understand insulin, you can literally almost heal a lot of the root causes of everything that's going on so make sure you take notes and you pay attention okay so insulin what is insulin so insulin is a hormone secreted by the pancreas that is released to protect your body against excess sugars so every time you have a carb laden meal insulin is released to say hey let me in it's like a key that unlocks the cells and allows the glucose to come in now it's a perfectly normal process Americans today, now the body only allows one teaspoon of sugar or glucose to be entered into the body every single day so your insulin will be able to keep up with it. But unfortunately, Americans do much, much more than that. We consume 31 teaspoons of sugar daily. Now, when I'm talking about sugar and I'm talking about glucose, I am talking about all forms of sugar. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about, oh, I'm cutting out carbs, I'm cutting out sugar, I'm cutting out whatever. Think about sugar is produced in so many different ways and things break down in sugar in so many different ways. This is, of course, what you already know, the cookies, the candies, the pastas, the crackers. It is also any any carb-laden meal that could be too many potatoes, uh, high amounts of fruit, ex excessive sweet fruit that are incorporated into your diet and you don't even know that it's serving as glucose and is breaking down as sugar into the body and it's causing the effects of insulin resistance. So the insulin is like the key, is a messenger that unlocks the cells and it allows glucose to get into the cells. But what happens over time when we constantly consume a high carbohydrate diet, when we're constantly under a lot of stress, when we're constantly um, consuming MSG, monosodium glutamate, all right, when we're constantly having too much protein in the diet, eventually when you keep over exacerbating the release of insulin, the cells become resistant and they do not let the insulin in anymore. So what happens when the insulin cannot get into the cells to lower the glucose? That means that you'll have excessive glucose and excessive insulin in the bloodstream. So when you have excessive glucose and insulin in the bloodstream, your sugars become very, very high. And this is hyperglycemia. All right. And so what happens is eventually over time, your, your cells are starving and it's knocking like, hey, let some glucose in. And what's happening is the pancreas, they get this, this, the cells get the signal from the pancreas and to release more glucose. But because they're resistant, it still cannot get into the cell. So what happened? You constantly have this overconsumption, overconsumption of glucose and insulin in the bloodstream and the cells become resistant and therefore you start to produce diabetes, all right? And so insulin resistance is when the glucose cannot get into the cell and then you become and then you become starving and glucose and sugar inside of the cell and this is when you start to crave sugars. So, if you start to notice that you have intense sugar cravings and you have intense headaches because your brain needs more of the carbohydrates, more of the glucose than anything, then you could be insulin resistant. Now, what are some of the things that cause insulin resistance? Well, number one, before we get onto that, you can specifically tell if you're becoming insulin resistant if you have excessive weight gain around the belly area. So if your belly, if you notice that your belly is starting to get a little bit bigger than it normally has been, insulin resistance, all right? If you're overly stressed, your cortisol is high, you are more likely to become insulin resistant and more insulin is being produced. If you're always consuming high amounts of nicotine, high amounts of caffeine, and high amounts of carbohydrates and alcohol, this can also produce insulin resistance. This is how I like to look at it, okay? This is how I like to break it down to my clients. Say you have a hair tie, right? We all know what a hair tie looks like and you're constantly stretching and stretching and stretching. And eventually you stretch that hair tie out so wide that it's not gonna go back. It's like, you know what, you keep using me, so screw you, you just gotta get a new one, right? So that's what happens 
when you become instant resistance is that you're constantly knocking on the door and you're knocking on the door and you're knocking on the door and it's constantly letting insulin in and letting insulin in and and it cannot keep up with what you're the cannot keep up with the amount of sugar that you're putting in and the times you keep spiking it and so therefore it's like you know what screw you the key is not getting in this door anymore so therefore we're going to accumulate outside of the blood so if you guys have any questions on insulin resistance and how it could be affecting you, please leave your comments below. If you also have any suggestions about any other videos that you would like me to do, please leave those comments below too. I am excited to help you guys. All right. This is Kelly. Make sure you click that like button and subscribe and ask all the questions that you love. Bye.